Hi Leo, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those of you cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see what, um, what the cards predict for you for the upcoming week. It is going to be a general reading, so if you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is listed below the video. the wheel of fortune but it's in reverse and this is interesting i get a very strong message for you that i feel like has been trying to reach a lot of you okay there's something here that you've been wanting to do um, there's something here that you've been thinking about it and you're attaching such a strong energy of desire to it it's something that you really 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 want or it's somebody that you really want. It's something that you want to manifest into your life. It could be a dream. It could be a career. It could be a goal and aspiration. It could be a certain romantic energy. Um, it could be like the ideal partner that you want. The ideal partnership. But you're scared. Okay. Whatever it is, you're scared of it. Um, not the fact that, you know, it's big and scary. But you're scared. You're scared that you might get it and you might fail. You're also scared that you might get it you might achieve it and you might succeed um funnily enough a lot of the times people are as scared of success as they are of failure um, and i feel like what's keeping something what's keeping something from manifesting or what's keeping this person from communicating with you or what's keeping you from achieving this dream goal this aspiration or you know um, whatever this is that you're wanting to draw to your energy field there's something that's keeping that from happening and it's your fee it's this energy of fee uncertainty maybe a lot of you are scared that you don't deserve it. Maybe you're scared that it's not going to work out. Maybe you're scared that you're being too ambitious and you're being a little bit impatient. It's that fear that's driving this person away or it's driving this situation, this scenario, this dream away. Essentially, what's standing in the way of things is you and your fear. Okay, um, You're holding on to something so tightly. I get it because it's something that you really want and it's something that you're really protecting it. Are you trying to really protect this energy or protect this feeling or whatever this is to you? But at the same time, you know, if something is not meant for you, it doesn't matter how tightly you hold on, it's going to elude your grasp. So, you, here's the thing, you can still be scared. You can still be scared of failing. You can still be scared of, you know, of. you can still want that person and be scared that, that it's not going to work out with them. You can still want that relationship and be scared that it's going to not succeed. You can still want that dream and be fearful that it's too ambitious and it's not realistic. What I'm trying to get at, and my point is, is that feel the fear, but do it anyway. Don't let that fear stop you. Because whatever it is, it's been the very energy that has been preventing you from manifesting a certain person, scenario, or situation. Because once you, and you don't have to even, like, people, the reason why people are brave is not because they're not scared or they're not afraid or they don't feel fear. That, that's not it. It's because they do feel the fear. You know, brave people, brave, courageous people feel fear, but they do it anyways. So it's okay to be scared and it's okay to think that it's not going to work out. Or, you know, it, it, that's only normal. But don't let that stop you from achieving that dream, that job that you want. Achieving that, you know, goal that you want, that you're aspiring to. Or getting, you know, into that relationship you've always dreamed of. Don't let that fear stop you. Because that's essentially the only thing that's holding you back. Because once you conquer your fears, let me tell you, you're going to have the, you know, the floodgates open up for you. And you're going to have a lot of fast exciting exhilarating changes a lot of a lot of things happening all at once 
people, places, scenarios, situations, everything that is going to create this energy of um, exhilaration, excitement and change, a lot of action, forward momentum and a lot of movement in different areas of your life as well. So, you know, it's okay that you're fearful, but just don't let that stop you. Um, because the wheels, see, the wheels of change are in motion, but you're kind of, you're repelling, your fee of something or someone is repelling the changes that are ultimately destined for you. You're in this energy where, you know, you can attract... See, the law of attraction and manifestation is a very powerful thing. And once you figure out there's no coincidences, there's no such thing as coincidences, you'll really start realizing just how powerful you really are. And from what I'm seeing, that there's so much you want to achieve or there's so much that you want to get done, and that's okay. And maybe you can get everything done. Maybe not all at once. But... The thing is, don't let that, you know, an energy of uncertainty. If you're not certain, get clarity. How do you do that? Well, you know, it depends. There are certain, there are certain steps you'll need to take. There are certain conversations you're going to have to have. One of which will be with yourself. Be honest. Also, don't be afraid to walk away from something that is just no longer meant for you. Okay? Any relationships, friendships, any situations that you've outgrew, don't be afraid to walk away from it. Don't stay purely because you're scared of hurting someone's feelings. Or you're, pu you're scared because walking away from this person or the situation would mean stepping outside of your comfort zone. That's where all the growth is. That's where all the growth, the development, the expansion the you know evolving that's where it all is taking place so if something doesn't feel right to you or if something you loved once and now you outgrew don't try to shrink yourself in just to fit in something that you've now outgrew okay because you're holding on to something for some of you i feel like you're holding on to something that's it's let go of you a long time ago or you're holding on to something that you've outgrew or you're holding on to something that it's not really there, but you're just holding on to the illusion of it. And I know it probably sounds very painful for some of you, but I feel like there are new doors that are wanting to open themselves up for you. New doors, new people want to come through those doors, new opportunities, new changes. But you can't expect to open new doors if you don't close some old doors, okay? So now's a really good time to do some purging. Now's a really good time to take an honest look at your you know, yourself, where you are, where you want to be, okay, where, where you want to go. Um, and you need to make room in your life, whether it's making room in your life to achieve those dreams, those goals, long-term goals, mini goals, those, uh, you know, if you have certain ideas, if you want to make room in your life to invite new romantic energies, you might have to let go of old romantic energies that you're still holding on to for hopes of reconnecting with this person one day. Because let me tell you, for a lot of you, there is something you're holding on to, but it doesn't feel tangible. It feels like it's an illusion. It feels like you're holding on to the illusion of what could have been or maybe what should have been, you tell yourself. Because the moon card is all about that, illusions. There are so much, if you look at the imagery, it's so similar in appearance, isn't it? That it's just... You know, you look at it and this dip, depending on what angle or what's your perspective, you know, um, you're not all going to see the same thing. And some of you, you're holding on to something that has left you or something that you've outgrew, but you're still holding on to the illusion of it. And therefore, because you're holding on to this person or this thing, you're not creating any space, you're, like you're holding space for someone to return who's left you a long time ago. Or, you know, who's checked out a long time ago. Or you're holding space in your life for something that you've just outgrew. So what you need to do is you need to create new room in your life for a lot of changes that want to come your way. And there's a lot of, like, the wheels of change are certainly in motion. But there's just been a little bit of stagnancy there. 
and it's purely because you're resisting it okay your resi your resistance to these changes are what's repelling this energy of manifestation okay guys and these are your messages i know some big powerful important messages but i feel like a lot of you needed to hear a thing or two in this reading they might just help you push past this energy of fear thank you guys for your time your attention please show your support by liking sharing and subscribing bye